Hey everyone, Brian Altano here for IGN, and this is our first top 25 list for the Nintendo Switch. Here are the 25 best games we played for Nintendo's newest console. Fire Emblem Warriors adds some key elements that make it a better game than its predecessor, Hyrule Warriors. From the weapons triangle to class-based powers and weaknesses, Fire Emblem's core franchise strategy elements translate perfectly to this chaotic and engaging action game. You wanna see something super scary? Picross S is a top-notch entry for the puzzle game series. The Mega Picross mode tweaks the formula just enough to make it feel fresh after you've exhausted the regular puzzles, and the co-op mode is a fantastically fun way to work with your friends as well as compete against them. Disgaea 5 is the most recent and most complete version of Disgaea you can get, and the Switch's portability works incredibly well with the RPG turn-based strategy gameplay. It also offers a ridiculous amount of things to do, so it's well worth a second look. Ready? Oxenfree's Freaks and Geeks meets Poltergeist Adventure is filled with memorable moments, and the Switch version might be the very best way to play it. Its use of controller and touchscreen support, as well as haptic feedback, makes an already fantastic point-and-click adventure feel even better. Um, does it hurt? Slimeson's unique blend of early Amiga-style graphics, time-bending mechanics, and wet, slimy protagonists will continue to set it apart from other 2D platformers on the Switch. It has over 200 levels, tons of hidden collectibles, unlockable costumes, and secret areas. Hardcore platforming gamers will find a ton to love in Slime Song. Sonic Mania isn't just fan service, it's one of the Hedgehog's strongest outings in years. It showcases clever remixes of old levels and dazzling new ones. Mania pays homage to every era of Sonic with some truly incredible easter eggs and fast-paced platforming challenges. ARMS might just be Nintendo at its weirdest, and we absolutely love it for that. Hopping, blocking, and missling your way through each round has proved to be one of the most unique and entertaining fighting experiences on the Switch to date. Pokken Tournament DX is like the evolution of Pokemon Stadium a lot of us dreamt about as kids. It's got a story mode, online battles, and the ability to pour skill points into Pokemon to increase their stats, which pretty much makes it the definitive version of Pokken. It's also one of the best fighting games on the Switch. Overcooked crams you and three friends into a crowded kitchen and offers more than 40 varied levels of culinary confusion. That's a healthy serving of entertainment, challenge, and replay value, making Overcooked a recipe for success for cooperative game lovers. Sorry about all these food puns. Thumper's Rhythmic Nightmare is a thrilling experience on its own, but truly shines on the Switch's gorgeous screen. And its unique spin on the rhythm format is made all the better using HD Rumble to make you feel every scrape, turn, and crash. Cave Story Plus feels right at home on Nintendo Switch. You'll have a blast with the chunky pixel art and Metroidvania-inspired gameplay. Surprisingly though, it's the game's haunting and mesmerizing story that will likely stick with you the longest. Golf Story brilliantly weaves the sport into a bizarre and constantly surprising narrative. It's also a fun and robust RPG with plenty of challenges and side quests to level up your character's stats. Whether you're a fan of the Lynx or not, this is a must-play for any RPG fan looking for a fix. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus is the definitive version of this horrifying Zelda-inspired roguelike. All of its years of updates and DLC are rolled into one in this tiny, yucky package. Isaac is undoubtedly unsettling in its presentation, but a little bit of gross isn't a bad thing to sprinkle into your Switch catalog. If the Switch is only going to get one NBA game this year, at least it's getting the best one. NBA 2K18 brings incredible presentation, slick controls, and solid sim gameplay with you anywhere you want to go. Some would call that a slam dunk. To the inside, then put Julia with the dunk. Puyo Puyo Tetris is a feature-packed puzzle collection worthy of being installed on every Switch. Whether popping in for a quick game of Tetris, flexing your skills online, or fighting your way through story mode, Puyo Puyo Tetris will keep you returning for years to come. Snipperclips captures the essence of Nintendo's newest console perfectly. There are few experiences as fun or infuriating as working alongside friends to snip and clip your characters into puzzle-solving shapes. 
Stardew Valley is a wonderfully open-ended farming simulator that lets you forge your own country path. Being able to take advantage of the Switch's sleep mode helps take some of the pressure off of not being able to save in the middle of a day, allowing more time for fishing, fighting, farming, and falling in love. Shovel Knight is easily one of the best platformers of the last decade. With Treasure Trove, you get not only the original game and the expansions released so far, but also everything that will come out in the future. On top of Switch's portability, what more could you ask for? Minecraft still stands tall as one of the best games around. Years of updates, free DLC, and oodles of community feedback have helped polish it into a deep and infinitely replayable sandbox game. Even better, the Switch version of Minecraft can be played multiplayer, cross-platform with many other versions. SteamWorld Dig 2 is a textbook example of everything a sequel should be. Bigger, smarter, and just more fun. It's a challenging and charming twist on the classic Metroidvania style, and its gameplay loop will keep you up into the wee hours of the morning for just one more run. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle faced no shortage of skepticism before its launch, but this robust strategy game proved itself with some truly challenging levels and accessible turn-based gameplay. Somehow it also found a way of marrying the Rabbids and Mushroom Kingdom senses of humor into one charming experience. Splatoon 2 is one of those rare games you can play for more than a year and still not be tired of. With a great single player campaign, tons of multiplayer modes, and plenty of post-release content, you've got one of the prime reasons to own a Switch. We adored Mario Kart 8 when it first came out on Wii U, but noted one mysterious absence, battle mode. Mario Kart 8's encore on Switch doesn't just keep the online community alive by adding returning favorites, we also get new modes as well as all of the great DLC stages. It's not a new game, but it's one so good it deserved to reach a bigger audience on Switch right away. Super Mario Odyssey seamlessly blends the best elements from nearly every Mario game with an entire portfolio of new platforming gameplay mechanics. New players will adore stomping through vast new worlds, and seasoned veterans will stick around after the credits to unlock hundreds of hardcore challenges. To put it simply, Super Mario Odyssey is one of the best Mario games ever made. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild offers an unparalleled sense of freedom and scale and places an entire kingdom in the palm of your hand. It tells an epic story as you glide, cook, and battle your way across a beautiful but ruined version of Hyrule. Breath of the Wild helped reinvent The Legend of Zelda in a way that fans had only dreamt of easily propelling it to the number one spot on our list and in our hearts. You must save her. Did we miss anything on our list? What else should people be playing at home and on the go on the Nintendo Switch? Let us know in the comments and for more of the best games to play, check out our top 25 list for Xbox One and PC. Until next time, stick with IGN.